Hello guys, I am Navni and I welcome you back to Target Study YouTube channel. You must have already guessed the subject matter of today's video from the title. Yes, my dear friends, in this video, I will be letting you know how to create interest in the most feared subject among the masses and master it to the perfection. We daily come across several things in our life where we need to do calculations which may be either some simple money calculations at grocery shop or a complex cumbersome calculation for calculating some rate of interest or calculation of taxes etc. Thus our day-to-day -day activities involve to a large extent use of calculations or in particular mathematics. Mathematics is used worldwide as an essential tool in many fields such as natural science, engineering and construction, medical and the research works. Thus, there is no denying of the fact that you cannot do anything within any sphere of life without the help of mathematics. So no way of escaping. Though mathematics may seem to be a bit stressful or difficult when a student starts, but given proper time and direction, it is not difficult to conquer mathematics, which is a very important part of our daily life. Mathematics is a subject that may seem very interesting to some and may be really boring and tough for the others. This all depends upon understanding of the topic and dedication of a student. If you're not able to pick up what is being taught, obviously you would feel bored and won't be able to concentrate on the topic. On the other hand, if you are well in command of the facts being taught in the class, you're really happy following every step you begin to enjoy step-by-step -step problem solution. The difference in understanding level lies in the dedication of a student. Mathematics is a subject that requires a little more hard work in the beginning to get hold of formulas and problem-solving techniques. If as a student, you're really dedicated to practice the topic that is being taught to you, then no one can stop you being in good command of the topic. And on the next day, it is guaranteed that the subject seems to get interesting and solving problem becomes fun if you have clarity in your mind, which would come only with practice. These days, there are many problem solving tricks being taught and so many tutorials are available to students, thus making mathematics more interesting and fun to learn. However, you can adopt some of the time testing techniques to master the subject of mathematics. But before letting you know about the techniques to master mathematics, I would like to clear one doubt in your mind that there is no other way of learning mathematics than practice. There can be no replacement for hard work. One who thinks of skipping this hard work can never have a hold on the subject. Regular practice is a must. Yes, adopting certain techniques will definitely increase your learning ability and efficiency, but you still need to practice those techniques. So the first thing that you need to do to master the mathematics is to get hold of formulas. Mathematics is all about applying calculation work to a formula in a given procedure. There would hardly be any high school level student who would have a problem with simple multiplication and division. Now, the main thing that is left is formula and procedure, which are the keys to solve mathematical problems. The main reason for failure in maths or science exams is confusion with important formulas. If a student doesn't have hold of these important formulas, then he can't solve the basic problems or understand the big picture. And the result is failure in examination and hatred towards the subject. The key to excelling in this situation is by putting in the correct amount of time and effort from the very beginning of the session. If students start to memorize formulas from day one, they'll barely need to be worried about the exams. Hence, once you get hold of these formulas, it means you have reached half the way. Students may get started by keeping a separate notebook specifically for formulas and don't forget to highlight important formulas that are repeated again and again. As you tend to learn some new formulas, write them down in order to be thorough with them. Revise these formulas at least once a week when you're not practicing the same topic to keep them on your tips. 
once you make this habit you'll get used to and you'll start remembering formulas for even longer periods and you won't panic at the time of exam the next important aspect is practice there is an old saying practice makes a man perfect this saying holds very true with the mathematics the more you practice the problems of mathematics more you tend to get familiar and thorough with the formulas and the procedures you need to follow regularly practicing the topic that was being taught has many advantages if you practice regularly you tend to get used to with the problem solving and hence you start to think quickly as to how a particular problem would be solved and you also get familiar with the problem solving procedure Regular practicing tends to increase your problem solving speed and gradually you start enjoying the subject. Regular practice is an effective way of improving problem solving ability as well as speed. Once you get in habit of regular practice, this means you're very close to success in mathematics. If you learn your formulas well and practice well with the procedures, no one can stop you from scoring the best grades. The next thing that you have to do is solve a variety of problems. Success in mathematics is directly proportional to the ability to solve different problems. The foremost key to success is to be thorough with your formulas. Each related formula should be on your tips at the time of exam. Second is to practice thoroughly to know well the procedure involved and tricks to solve the questions. Yet another aspect for success in mathematics is to solve a variety of problems. As we all know, the effective way of knowledge is through experiences. You cannot forget something that you have experienced earlier. Same is the case with mathematical problems. The more you solve, the more you remember. But the fact is that you need to solve a variety of problems to get in hold with various tricks involved with different problems. As each problem is unique in itself. You need to try maximum problems possible as that you know what to expect in the exam. Try your best not to slack on the problem sets during the year by collaborating too much or taking shortcuts. If you run into a problem you can't solve, reach to your teachers or your fellow students. Make sure once they have taught you how to solve that particular problem, you practice it again thoroughly. The next thing which you need to remember is don't fear. You need not feel afraid of mathematics. If you are good with your academic mathematics, that doesn't mean you cannot improve. Of course, you have a chance to improve and you can do the following things to upgrade your grades. Learn as much as you can during the class time. Attend to all your classes regularly. Try to sit in front if you have problem in understanding a subject. Organize your notebook in a neat manner. Take down your notes completely. Do not hesitate to ask questions about the facts that you do not know or you do not understand. You can also make effective use of online tutorials. Try to accompany bright students. Sit straight in the right posture. These time-tested techniques will definitely help you master mathematics. But you must always remember that you can make the path of mastering mathematics very easy if you have created interest in it. So, if you get bored or fed up during the journey of conquering, do not worry. You may find it difficult to take it like that. It is difficult, but it is not impossible. You just need to create in trust and devotion to subject, which you can do by being fearless in your mind and being motivated to learn. Be ready with all your formulas on a separate sheet with formulas written neatly by your hand even for the first few days you can take a sheet as a reference for formulas and gradually you may get rid of it once you are used to solving the problem be in a comfortable seating position to study so that you do not lose your interest and nothing trivial could distract you now start with reading the problem thoroughly and read it again and again until you have a proper understanding of what you have to solve note down all the given information neatly to save time reading the problem again find out what the problem is asking you to solve now when you have all given values and you know what you have to solve write down neatly all the formulas you need and begin with problem solving part in the beginning don't forget to solve the problem in points and highlight 
any exception or trick which is a part of the procedure. Make sure you are taking care of all the units. When you are done with answers, quickly review all the steps so that you have a clear pathway in your mind for the next time when you solve the problem. Mathematics is a subject that may seem to be boring or difficult at the time you start, but gradually you tend to gain your interest when you start getting along with your course. To excel in mathematics, you need to be determined and hardworking. And remember, practice is the key to success. So don't be afraid. All that you need is the hard work to master this most important and most fair subject. That's all from this video guys. I hope you found this video very informative. For more such videos, subscribe to Target Study YouTube channel and to get regular notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.